Hello everyone and welcome back to a short EP review and in this video I'm going to review Hi It's Me by Ash Nico. This is the brand new EP of an artist who I didn't hear of before and I just happened to discover her out of nowhere with the song Hi It's Me. What gets really apparent just from the moment the first song starts is that she definitely shares a sound that is more relevant to the current state of pop and rap music nowadays. As Nico is one of those new pop rap artists that happen to go into a more futuristic side of things when it comes to the whole production and instrumentation. This is also combined with an extensive use of autotune, not to the point where it sounds annoying, but more likely using it as another effect to just capture this whole futuristic feel behind the project. They have this sort of electropop, bubblegum bass inspired tunes that might be reminiscent of some of the artists for example that are into PC music. When I listen to this EP some of the names that came in my mind are artists like Charlie XCX for example, especially with her two later works. Or, you know, artists like I said in PC music, like Hannah Diamond, maybe a bit of Sophie, maybe a bit of Cutie, and like I said, lots of other artists in the recent years follow this kind of the same path. You can say that one of the more apparent examples in the more exaggerated and experimental way is the debut from 100 Kicks, which is an album that blew up in the underground just for how unique and different it was. Now the thing with Asniko is that I don't think she has something all that special with her voice, doing something all that different than other artists do, or that she has something all that special with the production, but it doesn't really matter if the ending result manages to be good. And this is an EP that it might not click with me as much for the first time, but when I heard it more and more, I just fell in love with it. This one has basically all the elements that I love about this whole new futuristic sound of pop and rap music, and I think that as Nico captures this in the best way possible. This EP feels almost complete and all of these years of experimentation with new sounds and just new approaches on those two really popular genres, I think that in this particular release comes out into this magnum opus. I did not expect that this was the EP or the project in general that I wanted the most from this year. But considering how much of a fun and how intrigued I am with this new wave of pop rap and futuristic electro pop sound, I fell in love with this thing. I love this EP and in this whole category, this is one of the best things I've heard. What I can definitely give about this EP is that it goes into different directions, even for being such short a length, even for being only 14 minutes long, just 5 tracks, but each one of them works so well in its own concept. And it's also such a rare thing to see such a short EP just getting tied so that well together, but as Nico manages to do this perfectly with this one, not just with the progression of the music, but with the whole lyrical content on this thing, which at most times it's actually really explicit. Her lyricism at points can be extremely ranchy and explicit, and this whole edgy approach, this nasty attitude she portrays, I really love it. It's a thing that when it's well done, I'm all for it. And the great thing is that the self-titled track, Hi It's Me, could not actually prepare me for what was about to come up next. So the introduction to this album is really interesting because it's easily the most pop track out of this thing and it's definitely the most emotional moment out of this entire project. And I really like the lyrics and what it builds up to. It's basically her trying to get over a toxic relationship, but she doesn't really know how to handle this whole situation, she feels stupid for it, but then not only with the lyrics but also with the video clip, she shows that there is this other part of herself trying to kidnap her other self and just make her completely disappear and just 
forget about him, get over with him. The approach on this thing is not only done well lyrically in my opinion, but it's also this great beat, this great melody. The hook on this thing is really addictive and I love how epic it becomes. This is something that I really love when it comes to pop music, having some explosive refrains. And also this thing reminded me of one of my favorite Charlie XX tracks and that is Emotional, which in my opinion it's one of the most underrated songs out of number one Angel. And like I said, the really great thing about this EP is its unexpected progression. You can see it from the last verse of Hi It's Me, where she seems that she goes to a more nasty approach on her lyricism, her whole attitude, she goes into a more rapping style, and she just points out that her past self is dead, and indeed, in the next four tracks, you see a completely different side of Asneko. You see her going to the more nasty approach, getting more explicit, getting over this relationship and just going all out. And those four tracks are so off the wall, she's so out there and at some points Jesus, some of those lyrics are way too savage. I like her confidence, the very edgy way she touches down the whole thing about masculinity and fuckboys. And the thing is that Special was actually the first teaser track out of this thing, but I didn't hear of this song before. The first track I listened to was Hi, It's Me. And I'm pretty sure that if I would hear Special first, I wouldn't expect that she would go to that emotional direction with Hi, It's Me. But it's like a piece of the puzzle is solved. We see the more vulnerable self of Asniko just at the first track and then she just goes out there, straight up ridiculous. And that also comes up with some of the bits on this thing that are extremely catchy extremely well done, their absolute bangers, from the amazingly produced special with an excellent bass that hits really hard. What also hits really hard is Stupid, a great trap banger featuring Young Baby Tate, whose also approach is really nasty, explicit and ranchy and I really love it. Out of all this, the track Working Beats is the one I like the least. It's not a bad song, but it's definitely the weakest the beat to this thing is really simplistic and it's way too ridiculous and silly even for my standards and then she ends up with the song Manners which is another great banger an amazing beat to it great production and just the most insane track from Asniko lyrically. I like how the lyrics even progress. They get more ridiculous each time, they get more silly. It seems that as the whole EP progresses, she cares less and less each time about the individual that she was with. She cares a lot less about anything that has happened. She has found her edgy self and no one can stop her. I maybe overanalyze this thing much more than it actually needs to. Maybe even as Nico herself did not try to get that deep or pay that much of an attention to this whole story, to this whole concept as I have made it out to be. But it's because I really love the CP. This thing is so amazing. I love it so much. I did not expect that this was the thing I wanted the most from 2019, but this is actually it. This is almost perfect. This is my EP of the year so far. I love this thing. I'm really glad I stepped up into this EP. There's only the track Working Beats that I'm not that much of a huge fan of, but anything else progresses and sounds so well. And like I said, it's really hard to tie such a complete and well-crafted concept to just 14 minutes of material. And not only doing that lyrically, but also musically. The thing that makes this release special, it's not that much of the music. Actually, the music is really basic when it comes to its structure. You have your hook, you have your verse, then you have your hook, your verse, you might have a bridge as well. It's really basic and predictable when it comes to its structure. But when it comes to the voice of Asniko, there's also nothing all that special, something that I haven't heard before and I'm just mind blown by the voice. But like I said, in all of this wave of experimentation with more futuristic sounds, 
I think we come up to this final result being the most complete thing so far out of this entire genre. Several years of experimentation paid off with this release over here and I'm really looking forward to what she's going to come up with next. So far I'm just going to play this thing on repeat because it's highly addictive. I love this. I'm going to give this CP a 9 out of 10. What's your opinion on this CP? Like it? Dislike it? Why? And what do you want me to review next time? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.